What is good friends, we're with the deciding game 3 between Cory and Kid of Death for ulti playoff. So Cory brings his team that he qualified with, so I know all the sets. Darkseid High Dragon with Roost of Power Flash Can, Standard Jolly Mega Medichem, Rocky Helmet Tornadoes, Rapid Spin Toxic Spadef Excadrill. Um, turn 1, U-turn is super free for Cory. If it's Scarf Landris, he can live a Stone Edge and then U-turn out to get momentum. And if the Landris switches out, Cory just gets momentum. If the Landris is not Scarf, but I'm pretty sure it is Scarf, but if it's not Scarf, then he can just U-turn out into either Celestila or Slowbro. So U-turn is always the play here for Cory. Um, the Celestila is standard mixed defensive with Leech Sheet Protect, Heavy Slam Flamethrower. The Slowbro is um, a Scald Protect Ice Beam Slack of variant. So Medicham looks like it's super annoying for Kid of Death. High Jump Kick Spam destroys his entire team besides Landris and even Landris takes like 30-ish from it because it's Scarf. Does show to have Protect which makes a lot of sense on a team that is that weak to Mega Medicham. Like Tita and Tren and even Bulu after some chip and also Megiana. They all kind of give Medicham a free kill so Protect on Tren makes sense to help with the Medicham matchup. So I think um, Cory is going to click High Jump Kick again. Um, because it either bobs something, destroys something, or even if the Landris comes out, it still gets a good amount of chip on the Landris. And Landro coming out is not bad for Cory because he has a Salasdila, a Slowbro, and a Helmet Tornado that can all come out on the Landris U-turn and not care about it. And the Slowbro also has Protect to help with a potential banter to protect and scout what it wants to lock itself into. Um... I'm gonna do a live later with this team, by the way, guys. This team that Cory's using. Um, I'll let you guys vote on Twitter what team you want me to use. And that team got the most votes. I'm not surprised at all. This team's pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I assume we're just gonna see the high jump kick into the landers and it should do like 30 ish percent. 34, yep. So now um, Kid can just U turn. Cory's most likely gonna switch into either Slowbro or Celestila goes into Slowbro. So um, either Tita or Alakazam here is the play for Kid. Also, it's going to be interesting to see what the rocker is. The rocker is either the Tar or the Tren. So I think we're going to see a protective from Cory the Scout just in case it's Bantar. As Kit throws up the rocks and he doesn't Mega. So he could be Bantar with rocks. Or he could be Megatar and he didn't Mega Evolve to bluff that he's regular Bantar. Um, not sure what they predicted there. But now he's going to have to Kalk. If he's Mega Zem or if he's Life Up Zem, he has to Kalk. If Focus Blast doesn't kill, I'm pretty sure it doesn't kill. He should switch out into Landers, but he doesn't switch out. He predicts him to Rapid Spin and he loses his Alakazam to Focus Blast. I think that was a misplay. Um, if he kept Alakazam around, that could have potentially... That could have put in a lot of work later in the game. Like, Alakazam plus Megina can overwhelm the Celesteela. I don't like that play, so now he might just Earthquake not wanting Curry to go for Rapid Spin, exactly. Curry um, makes the correct play, goes in the Celesteela, he didn't lose anything even if Kit went for U-Turn. He could have protected next turn if Tren came out and then he also had High Dragon to deal with Tren. Um, so I completely agree with Curry switching out and keeping the Excadrill as a sack for later. Uh, he went Budo there predicting a Leech Sheet I think on the Celesteela. Um, now Cory can either go for Flash Can here or switch out into Torn or Celesteela as Kid of Death can eat that up with his Bulu, that's a pretty spadef Bulu. And I think Horn Leech is the play here because Horn Leech lets you get health back if the Head Dragon stays in. And Horn Leech hits the Tornadus harder than Super Power and the Tornadus is likely to come out because he's most likely going to predict the Super Power exactly. And that does a lot. So now we're going to see Rocky Hammer damage. Um, pretty obvious because I know this team, Cory used it to qualify. We have seen this team a lot. I've studied this team, I have all the sets. I will have most EV spreads right as well. I snatched this team up. So it protects just to get back to full. And I think Superpower here is the play, just in case Cory is gonna... Superpower kills the Torn if it stays in, and if Celesteela comes out, Superpower is gonna destroy the Celesteela, but Horn Leech on the other side wouldn't do much to Celesteela, so I think Superpower is the play, but he does just Horn Leech. Now he has to switch out here. Um, the grassy terrain is gonna end, so he can go into Landris, I think, but he's Superpowers, and Cory is most likely gonna Heavy Slam here because there's a plus two bull in his face, and he doesn't wanna play around with that. And I completely... I don't like kids play there, sacking the Bulu. Predicting a leech sheet, yes, but Cory has no reason to not heavy slam there. Um, I think he didn't want to go Heatran because he was fearing an Earthquake from the Celestila because um, Cory showed Earthquake and Celestila in an earlier game in the series. Um, but he could have gone into a Landris, which would have covered a heavy slam, a leech sheet, and the Earthquake, in my opinion. Or he could have also gone Heatran if he was sure that it's not Earthquake. Uh, the Magma Storm miss is a little bit annoying. Now, this is the Dark Pulse. Health power set here. 
What is Kid gonna do? Is Ghostlander is predicting an Earth Ball, but I think Dark Pulse is a potential play for Cory, but he does Earth Ball. So yeah, Kid makes a good read there, but Cory is still completely fine. Um, Cory has a few plays here. You can either Roost predict in the U turn, or you can switch out into Celis or Slowbro. Um, and maybe not Slowbro because Slowbro would be a bit low after U turn, but Celis was an option there, or Roost is the other option. I assume he decided to just Roost exactly. So Tita comes out. We I assume this is Megatar because the Alakazam, I'm um, pretty sure, was Life Orb from the damage that Focus Blast did to the Slowbro. Uh, to the Excadrill, my bad. The Focus Blast to the Excadrill did a lot. I'm pretty sure that's Life Orb. So now, um, Hydreigon is forced out here. I assume he's just gonna sack. Yeah, he's just gonna sack the Excadrill because it's at like 16%. And the Excadrill doesn't do anything for him at this point. And let's see what Kid goes for. Does he Mega or does he still stay? He stays regular form. Is he banded? We don't know that yet. It, but no Mega makes no sense. I'm pretty sure this is Mega Tar because his Alakazam was life up. So Medicham just gets a kill now with high jump kick. Cory made the correct play. Um, that's why it was cool to keep the sack of Excadrill around. Now he could have just he could just sack it for free. And now Medicham just clicks high jump kick. And I think uh, he just has to sack the Tita. He doesn't have a switch in. And the Megina is still important to keep around. I'm thinking the Megina is probably a shift giver and that still has a sh slight chance to win this game. So now he just goes Landers and clicks U-turn. Cory can just still keep the Medicham. No reason to sack the Medicham. Celestila is completely free here. Stila or something else. I don't know. I think Stila is going to come out most likely. And yeah. So Kid is going to U turn here. And what is this Megia now? I assume it's going to be Z move shift gear. It could be. It could be the Focus Blast Florican set. It could also have T Bolt. I'm not exactly sure. But yeah, now he has to. Exactly, go into Megina because if he goes Heatran, then Cory can just protect and then next turn switch into Hydreigon and keep the Celestila as fodder. And now he has to kill the Celestila. Cory's play here is always Leech Seed to not let the Megina set up for free. And Kit should just attack with either Focus Blast or T-Ball depending on what he has. Obviously, if he has T-Ball, he should go for that because it's accurate and can't miss. But if he only has Focus Blast to hit this, then he should go for Focus Blast. But if you set up here, I know that that's the wrong play because now you are Leech Seeded. The Celestila... Um, can protect, you're gonna lose more health, and the Medicham also has fake out. Um, so, this is either three attacks or common two attacks, Megirna. Pretty sure it's Floor can focus blast. The last move is either T Bolt or CM, that's what I'm thinking. But now that he is leech cheated, I don't think the Megina can win. He should have killed the Celest Dealer, and then he should have tried to potentially set up. Like later in the game, he could have set up maybe on the Torn High Dragon or on the Slowbro. He does get the CM right on the Protect, but that's not bad for Cory at all. Um, Cory can just sack maybe the Torn or the Slowbro. Like, he can just sack something here. And then he can come back. Oh, that actually... <laughs> that did 31. <laughs> Max HP Torn eating the plus one Focus Blast. Uh, Focus Blast is the correct play to make for Kid of Death. I don't know where they're dotting in the Smog Tooth chat. Because his his CM, Focus Blast Flurken, it's pretty obvious at this point. He doesn't have T-Bolt. And there's no reason to Flurken and drop your special attack. And he wants to keep the Z-move. So Focus Blast, he has to Focus Blast again here. And he misses, which sucks for him. Now Cory can just go into Medicham, get some Leech Seed Recovery, and then go for Fake Out and get even more Leech Seed Recovery. That's pretty much what keeps this Megina in check. I like Cory's teams a lot, but um, this doesn't have a Scarfer, which I'm a bit annoyed by. I like When I tested this team, I also had like trouble revenging stuff without having a Scarfer. Also, if you face a Thunderous team with Z-Move with this team, you're going to be screwed, because there's like... <laughs> All the pummeling destroys the high dragon, uh, and the Excadrill T bolt destroys like the rest of the team. But yeah, he just sacks the tornadoes. There's the Z move, so um, he gets a boost here. But this doesn't matter because he just goes back into Medicham. The Torn was just a sack. Fake out into Leech Seed recovery um, would probably kill the Megina. So he goes into Landers knowing that the fake out is gonna come up. But at this point, it doesn't matter. Cory has this wrapped up, so he just U-turns here. It's pretty obvious. Cory goes in the slow bro. And Heatran comes out. So Heatran is going to be a leftovers variant with uh, Magma Storm. It has a Protect. And we see it's Toxic Tran. So maybe Magma Storm, Toxic, Earth Power, Taunt. Uh, no, it already should Protect. My bad. Should Protect. Should Protect and Toxic. So probably Protect, Toxic. And then either Magma Storm, Earth Power. Or um, Magma Storm, Taunt. But no Earth Power trend seems bad. I guess he has a... Um, Oh, this uh, Cory is just going Celestia to sack it. By the way, he didn't predict the toxic. He's just throwing the Celestia out. Now he can leech sheet in case he dodges. But even if the Heatran hits, he's just throwing the Celestia out to bring his High Dragon in afterwards safely. And because if he goes Medicham, he can miss a High Jump Kick. So now he just goes High Dragon and safe. And I think he's just gonna click Dark Pulse or Roost here, because um, Kit could protect or toxic here. 
Like, Protect is a potential play because it covers the Z move, the Dark Z move. Um, so there's no reason to click Dark Z here. You click Ruth, Dark Pulse, or Elf Power, I think. He clicks Dark Pulse into the Protect. Now, um, Kid is gonna go for Toxic here. Um, this might be a little livid Elf Power if it's Spidef Trend, like barely. But yeah, you guys can see this game is heavily in Kari's favor at this point. Um, yeah, he went High Dragon, like I said, instead of Medicine because he doesn't want to risk missing a High Jump Kick. And he can Ruth here, or he can. Um, hmm. Does he just attack again? He Ruth. Yeah, Ruth was completely fine. Megina comes out and goes into Landris now, but I'm pretty sure Cory is. Yup, gonna go for Z move. Z move from that range killed the Megina because the Megina is offensive and it covered Kit pivoting into Landris. So Cory made the correct play that it covered everything. And now he can just spam off power here. Kill the Heatran or the Megina, depending on what Kit sacks. I assume he's gonna sack the Megina here, then come back in with the Heatran uh, to Toxic stall the Hydreigon. But that doesn't matter because the Slowbro is not toxic yet, so Slowbro in the back. Um, and Medicham in the back. Hydreigon does the toxic here. But now Medicham can just come out and click High Jump Kick. It just has to hit. Um, he can go for a double protect. He doesn't get it though. Does the High Jump Kick hit? Yep, the High Jump Kick hits. Even if that miss, Slowbro still had a shot to win for Cory. Thank you guys for watching. Cory wins 2 1 versus Kid of Death. This is a Swift Round tournament. So I think how it works is if you win three games, you get into the next round. Um, the top 32 is Swift or Swiss, whatever. I'm mixing it up. And then the top 16 is single elimination. So if you win three games, you're in the top 16. If you lose three, you're out. And the max you can play is five games and there's five best of threes. So it's going to be a lot of best of threes. I'm going to bring most of them to you guys live. And yeah, if you still have any more questions about the format, let me know in the comments because I'm pretty sure I didn't explain everything about it. Um, yeah, Kid could have won this game if you played his Megina different, but you live and you learn. It's Pokemon, I think he's still new. Yeah, he's new to the tournament scene. Um, I still had fun watching this, like, I don't mind if there's some misplays. And I hope you guys enjoyed too. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you with a shot on live with Cory's team uh, either later or tomorrow. And we're also gonna have some little carbon annuli um, coverage from Smoke on Snake Draft the next days from my friends um, that are nice and helping me out. With some guest uploads, so that's amazing. Props to them, and goodbye friends, that's it.